Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 50. This is my first round match. Uh, wait until the very end, <laughs> just before the deadline, and play versus Purple Chest, because of course I'm almost certainly going to lose, and I thought it'd be funny to, to stay in Chalice longer. Um, he's got three Mighty Blow Tacklers, he's got seven Tackle Total, he's got loads of Garden Stand Firm, and this is a horrible, horrible matchup that I've got almost zero chance of winning. Um, he's got a great record, 21-5-4. And yeah, you know, mostly has dwarves versus Amazons, but you know, there's some there's some there's some add ups and strength ups and move ups here. So like, it's an interesting Zon team, but you know, obviously it's a really good record. But it's obviously totally outclassed versus dwarves, and uh, PC is great with dwarves. So this is uh, this is pretty absolutely brutal. But there you go. We've got Fimi. <laughs> wow, Fimi is really loads bigger than Skuro here. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, yeah, so we've got Skuro and Fimir to do comms because I'm going to try hard, which, you know, as I said, seems really pointless against PC with Dwarves. But you never know, like, it, it might it might go well. There's, uh, there's dicings happen, right? I've got, to, I've got to get really lucky, but I'm definitely going to... I'm definitely going to try my hardest to, to win, um, but yeah, you know, I don't think my chances are good. But there you go. We'll, I'll definitely give everything every turn. So there you go. Take it away, boys. Oh, baby. How we doing? Here we go. Here we go. Get ready, guys. It's happening. The last game of the round of 64. And this game is dedicated to our viewers in Senegal, with the capital Ooh. of Dakar. And the national flower is the Baobab, which if you read the Little Prince book, you know it becomes a tree. And the national dish is the Thiboudien. Maybe that's the national dish, if I pronounce it right. I was about to say, I'm not familiar with that one, but uh sounds delicious, I'm sure. Yes, and also the I capital have a... of Dakar, which I... many of you yeah. will remember from the Paris Dakar rally. <laughs> I have actually worked at a Senegalese restaurant for uh, photography before. They were, it was, uh, the food looked great. I don't remember much of it, but... Uh, yep, inducement here, uh, as, uh, as you just saw circled on your screen. Uh, just the babe, nothing else. And that was oh was go. that a was that a scummed babe by PC? Oh my god, PC, eh? <sighs> disgusting. Yeah, it was. I thought that was Jim at first, and then I just realized that the clock countdown went off. So PC scumming a babe, what a dirty motherfucker! He All has right. the biggest scal already, you know. Like, what's the point? <laughs> Obviously, he took the babe to counter the pylons of uh, Jimmy. And PC is going defensive. Or did they Jimmy win the toss? I, I, I didn't see. I was just loading up my client. All right, I'm in. I'm in now and can finally see shit. Uh, so we'll be watching from Jim's view this entire time since it's his stream. Yep. <laughs> Jim uh Jim setting way back here with his rule of fives, ensuring he'll get a blitz. Yep, blitz guaranteed now, so uh good old defensive DACA. All he's really doing here is canceling a uh <laughs> a single blitz target. Yep. I'm making him more difficult to put pressure on the ball if he gets lucky. Yeah. But, you know, PC loves to take space, and he's giving him yeah, some yeah, space yeah. to take. PC with a dwarf team that has mm -hmm. just a couple of things, interesting things besides the normal. He has a string up, a long beard, lots of a guard. Well, not that many. Compared with other uh, dwarf teams out there. And here is Jimmy trying, trying to break the Dimmy G course and winning challenge with the uh, Amazons. Are you talking about PC, Steve Monty? Because he's all manzing, so he can kill three Amazons on the LOS. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's... yeah, I think so. Not quite all Manzing, but like, yeah, you're gonna load up and make sure all three of those uh, those players are on the ground, if not off the pitch, because there's no threat to the ball whatsoever for a turn, if possibly more turns. Uh, who do we go, guys? Woo! Okay, let's kick off return. And uh, yep, guaranteed as we predicted, <laughs> as we predicted, uh, Jimmy De Rossi Deep kick, uh, back scenario. corner Deep too. Kick, back corner, bleeds. Oh. He was everything oh. there, guys. He was everything there. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Well, that was, that was written in stone at yep. the start of time. Jim could have taken severe advantage of it. Uh, but uh, not to be. Now, granted, he could have also got his team killed trying to take advantage of it. So we'll see if the gambit pays off, but it seems like oh, you that might have been a, uh, a little too conservative. Let's say that. And if uh, we've learned anything in the last 24 hours, a little too conservative might not cut it. Oh, in, uh, the big picture. that's a re uh, reference to modern politics. Oh, is when it? I, I, I would never, I would never go off on a rant on modern politics on Jim's U or, uh, YouTube or Twitch channel. And the lowest hits are uh, not been very good for PC. No, they haven't. Uh, he will have the blitz to uh, try and get this last uh, player down here. 3D coming with tackle. No. No. Well, so a nice little trade here then. So Jim really probably regretting falling back with getting that blitz and that incredible kick. But uh, paying off here on the LOS for him a little bit. Of course, with no bench, PC won't be fouling, you've got to believe. But he does have three players that basically aren't doing anything for several turns. And now comes the pickup. This could be huge. He's not. Absolutely, Ducky. Yes, uh, there was a boxing match. First turn will go for the zones. <laughs> well, that was a short turn for Jim. Well, I mean, the floor <laughs> doesn't have mighty blow, so <laughs> I, I knew it yep. was going to happen. Yep. No, it's absolutely the correct. Uh, <laughs> absolutely the correct decision there. Like, what else is he gonna do? Oh, this is gonna be a quick first half. Just like uh, Jimmy likes them. Well, we're not going to see much Blood Bowl in the next few turns. No, nope, certainly not. Is Jim just going to pass turns here? He's not in nope. range. Oh, yeah, he is actually technically in range. He'll scoot back a square or two. Oh, he's going to scoot. Wow, Jim. <laughs> wow. What a farce. What, what a an farce. act of bravery. And I heard a chuckle from Jim there. So <laughs> yeah, you did better too. stop listening to us, Jim, and yeah. focus on the game. Yeah, he's got to focus real hard to pull this one off. Who knows, you know, which square to use. <laughs> At least he's not moving them one square per one square. As a... yes, yes, we can. <laughs> uh. Oh, apparently the stream cannot hear what we're hearing with Jim. It's not oh. very exciting. Oh. 
Okay, right, good. Now, now it's all sorted. That was really weird. I don't know. I don't know why why my microphone got messed up, but uh, that was lucky because I, you know, I could have could have go on find me. I could have heard anything then. <laughs> because oh, I'm going to be oh, tapping oh, out pretty oh, soon, I think. <laughs> Well, Jim, uh, Jim is definitely focused on this game and trying his hardest, and uh, certainly not distracted by anything or uh, caring about the results any less than you'd expect. Yes. And uh, I think uh, next time is when we're going to turn three for the songs. Maybe we start seeing something. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll see them go left or right. <laughs> Yes, zero removals for the sons. Jimmy clearly aiming for the one-one green. We're gonna see a dodge into a one D here to uh, try and open up space to get the zones up, or are they just gonna sit on the floor? They'll probably just stay on the floor. He's moving left. Yep. Jimmy opting for the Canadian defense. Generally offering a space. Well, good thing Jim's really taking advantage of, uh, you know, having a captivated audience with two great coaches that everyone really wanted to see a good game of Blood Bowl out of. Commentators, but, uh, please, commentators. <laughs> Don't call me the yeah. coach. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yep. Yeah. Well, I have to tell you, I have to do the collect the paperwork to do my taxes uh, this morning, you know, print the invoices and all that. And congratulate you, do, you that it was much more exciting this the last four turns of Blue Bowl. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, PC is going to keep a little pressure on Jim here, bringing, uh, keeping the ball and the dwarves kind of midfield rather than taking that space on the right uh, to pressure Jim a little bit because, you know, PC obviously wants to get some hits on him. This is but we're a, about... <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a cold war because whoever moves players to do the blitz... Is war might be doing, the wrong you know, word here. Well, <laughs> just cold, just a cold matchup. A cold tea, you know, it's like having yeah. a tea that is cold. It's supposed yeah. to be good, but it's cold. Yeah, yeah, Volk. <laughs> Skuro is mostly looking at his calendar being like, Did I, I didn't skip out on anything more interesting to do this game, right? No, no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, Jack. Well, that's actually a pretty solid comparison, given how shit the AI was with the hack. Yeah, PC uh, doing letters. And, okay. Well, folks, if you are uh, not excited about the defensive DACA from Jim here, just wait for the offensive DACA from Jim next half. <laughs> oh, my goodness, a blitz. A blitz. Gets a push. What, why he didn't reroll it? I mean, uh, what's he expecting to do? Yeah, I know. I, I have no idea why he wouldn't reroll that. And now a little protection for the bomber, and the whole team is moving up. Karmically, Jim has guaranteed that PC's next blitz will kill us on. Like that's generally what happens. <laughs> you do everything in your power to protect your team. You go overboard protecting your team, and then the first hit that sticks kills a player. Yeah, it's gonna be quite the school's uh, door for that. I was right. I was right about. I was right about the blitz. I'm gonna be right about this too. Yeah, 
yeah, this is, this is gonna be a tragedy here. This is gonna be a song dying, but it's okay. Uh, they are pointless songs. There are more of them. People say the DACA doesn't work versus good coaches, but look at this. I've got my entire team on either side of PCs. <laughs> Forgot the ball, though, Jim. <coughs> oh! <laughs> well, well, 50% of the job done. I was going to come the Blitz with Mighty Blow. Not even making it 3D. This is a scare. There's the power, and here comes, you know, the first cast. Oh my hey, god, not even an armor break. Stick. I was wrong. Oh, here comes some base in by PC. Maybe okay. Jim is playing. Uh, maybe Jim is playing into PC's uh, uh, age. Age a little bit, hoping he has a sundown moment and thinks he's on offense, going the other direction now. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> PC just starts driving up the pitch for Jim. That would be pretty incredible. I mean, it will be the first time, but uh, <laughs> I think uh, now it's going to be uh, one of the long beers with all the skills. On the right side, is gonna get the bomb. Exactly, Varen. Exactly. No, oh, we are. Are we getting some engagement here? Not much. Yes, just the pile on uh, Blitz on the on that long beer. Yeah, and then the the dodge off on the three guard. Well, I mean, the PC I does not have a bench, but he did scum a babe. So that guarantees that there, there won't be any chaos at all. All we cast. Yes, I mean, he's going to use our role if needed because, come on. So, I mean, he is kind of running up the pitch, but he's also take, he's going to take his single blitz hit a turn because, again, PC doesn't have a bench. If he gets a player off the pitch, that could, that I could stick. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, look at Pylon. Sarah Harding could have had tackle for next game when Jim's definitely wins it. No reason to not re-roll. Not even a one in nine. PC fouling? I don't think so. He's, uh, he can't foul. He doesn't have a bench. Exactly. It's time six. Uh... I mean, maybe he could. Maybe on the Palmer, you, you're willing to sacrifice a single dwarf for a gang foul. Maybe once. But that's about it. I, I don't think I could talk myself into it what? in the playoff I game. mean, if it's, you need to make it... Uh... <clears throat> a very good hit and miss next match at least because if not uh, Jimmy is going to use the apple and he will have the player yeah. next uh, half and you will have nothing PC's block dice have been atrocious thus far he hasn't had yes. many of them obviously but yes all, all the six have been yeah. <laughs> I think putting her there and not kind of to the bottom right of the square she could have gone means he's definitely not fouling Yeah, I think you're right, Satter. No, PC is not fouling. There is a PC has no dirty player, and as I said, if it's anything less than a mix next game, yep. 
pointless. Like Jim has a bench and an appa. Why do any work for Jim by risking one of your players going off? Exactly. Although it is a again, the only argument in favor is it's a palmer. Which the palmer is gonna pump another uh, long beer next turn. Doesn't reroll it. Absolutely yep. covered ice by uh, Jimmy here. Disgraceful images here in the channel. But he managed to keep the whole team alive. And now trying to look a little menacingly, you know, trying to push PC to score, but... He only need one reroll for the turn A day. He could have rerolled that one. I mean, he still has one blitz left. <laughs> Frankfurter. <laughs> Uh, we've almost got a full meat cube. Also, PC would in the stand firms to avoid any kind of a chain play. Yeah. I, I, I said meat cube, but yeah. That's gonna be a reroll. Finally, gets a pow. And. Ooh! Oh Just the KO. Just the KO. Probably not gonna have any impact because it's a rookie. He's got a bench. Should be coming back. But you never know. Power <laughs> folk. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Meet Q. Could it be cool target that the guard, the mighty blow uh, dwarf, if he invests, you know, uh, some of his own guard? Like one of them. This is probably what he's thinking, or nope. Yeah, he, he, he can get a follow-up block here if he needs it, which he does. Uh, I'm not sure why he followed there, though. He needs his for the CD. Oh, for the 3D, yeah, yeah of course. But now his Palmer's getting hit. Well, that's not true. That's not true. Another pylon? Nothing. Nothing. Pylon, pretty good skill, Jim. Don't worry, don't worry. He's piling up. He's piling up. <laughs> uh, at some point, it will work. Yep. They're just uh, accumulating stacks of pylon. Uh, do you really want to foul a, uh, <laughs> a thick skull nothing player, though? No. Especially when all the sons left half his kills. <laughs> yes, Frankfurt, yes. No, I don't think so. Especially when you know it's Jim, he's just going to snake it. He's not the PC, he's not going to take it. 
Yeah, he's, yeah, of course. If, of course a removal helps him, but Jim's not going to get a removal. <laughs> going for the CD here. Again, follow-up lock here is available. Will, will this be one of these uh, chalice moments we all will remember? Excess skulls. Obviously not. It's the pow. Nothing. And the score. Well, that was a thrilling half. Jim this here is, with a. This is uh, the time to drop the well roll by a. Uh, <laughs> by Jim. Well done, masterful drive. There you go. Uh, Shattered Ice, I don't. You, the real game where it's the offensive DACA, is that what you're talking about? That game? Because that, that, that's where we're going to get about two and a half turns of Blood Bowl in this entire game. It was the advanced level uh, Blood Bowl looks like, guys. Yep. A PC can shut down any one turn effort if he wants to. I don't know that he's going to want to, though. He should. After all, Jimmy has a movement seven edge four uh, player. Yeah, still pretty tough though. Move seven edge four, not it would no with no sidestep. A little tough, you know. I I think I still would, but it's a, it's a little scary when when you don't have a bench. Peak. I wouldn't call this peak blood bowl, Xander, and it's certainly not entertaining. But you can't fault. I mean, you can't fault Jim for playing that way. But this could have been a pretty thrilling game with that blitz deep kick. Yes, but this is the Jimmy's channel you are talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So PC doesn't shut down the one turn attempt. Looks like PC is just banking on the riot here with the setup more so than anything else. Then that's probably the easiest way for him to lose right now. Oh yeah, the riot. Jim does not appear interested in trying the one turn though. Uh, no, I don't think this is any of the setups that appears in a. PTK's uh, guides about the one time. No. He's he's not scoring here, Hydra. Glorious. No, I won't give ah. in until well, I'm victorious. That was a dice result. I will defend. Uh, one turn wasn't happening anyway, so one fair enough. Yeah. I don't think PC is gonna. Yeah, yeah, PC is just running away because yeah, yeah. there was no riot, so no need to expose any of his players to a blitz. Seven yes, turn, right, one uh, turn. It was only no, six turns, Frankfurter. It's only six turns. I mean, there are more, more than a few. Uh, Tanana attempts by Jim that have ended in a long one turns. Yeah. Well, it's just his famous his famous one turn guide that took him six turns to uh, complete was pretty impressive. Okay. Imagine collecting ad revenue for this Ravers. You can't there hear you me. Go. First roll, <laughs> Instant that is call. Good thing he's got those two rerolls. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, he can, and it looks like he's uh, planning on it. This is uh, goodbye, Jim, here. Chain over so that both piling ons can still hit. Might not need him, though. Uh, that will be a terrible moment to... Uh... Oh, he's going for the three dice. And probably the foul. Yeah, I think I think a foul on the garter here is pretty good. Nothing. And it comes the pylon. No. <laughs> Piling on's a pretty good skill. Good use of the blitz there. <laughs> oh, he can't foul actually because he doesn't have anyone. Oh, he does over there. I didn't even see that player. Will he armor break? Oh, instant. <laughs> Britney Spears send off. Think Britney and Spears ladies and gentlemen, uh, who is it? Frankfurter? That's that's exactly why there was no blitz early, or no foul earlier. Exactly. He was writing on the start. It's all going according to plan. Yep. yep. The KO has woken up, though, so Jim's just down, down one bench. Basically, nothing has changed except PC has a, a, a touchdown. And so now uh, you got to believe Jim is definitely planning to deck and hope to win a coin toss. Uh, oof. I don't like much of that guy with Sons versus uh, any team. But yeah, at least I think the Jim is going to opt for it. A lot of stand firm. Maybe the DACA is less appealing on offense here. And yeah, Zon's not exactly speed demons, but uh, he does have an edge for, uh, excuse me, edge for movement seven and a second movement seven. So he's not, he's faster than the average uh, Zon's team. Whoa. <laughs> but the uh, uh, PC's team has uh, moving six players to. And moving yeah. five because he has blitzers, you know, going against the traditions of all the dwarf schools, he decided to get blitzers. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that team sucked. Now, Jimmy, getting the setup uh, prepared uh, just to endure the blitz that is going to get the PC. Yep. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing is if you'll know pretty quickly if Jim's intention is to DACA, but he has to set up against the blitz. It's really the worst case scenario for him right now. And he's doing that right now. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Second half started, another 16 times in total of brutal blue. Oh. And... Okay, doing this uh, without moving the ball. That ball is not very secure right now. I mean, it's only a quad skulls, but... Again, okay, another pylon that doesn't work. Will this one work? Will pylon be vindicated this game? Absolutely disaster. Well, at least uh, Jimmy is not the uh, doing a daca, that's for sure. Oh, fantastic, fantastic uh, rolls there, you know, pushing that dwarf all over the line. Okay. 
beautiful one in nine that he has to eat. Choose the school, Jim. Don't give him the, the pleasure of using a skill. All right. What did I miss? Uh, one in nine by uh, Jim. In the oh, baby. Now, Jimmy with the regrets. Oh, God, imagine thinking I could ever break armor. What a fucking idiot. How's that uh, piling on working out, Jim? Magic. Don't worry, Jim. There will be more. There will be more. He said, imagine... Oh, oh, in chat, I don't know what he said. I wasn't looking at his screen. Yeah, Volk, it's such a small sample size, so you can't can't feel too bad. But like, because I mean, that is technically the the choice that Jim made was to not get hit as as much as physically possible by sacrificing most of his hits too. So you know, PC hasn't thrown a ton of dice at him, but he certainly has had some pretty bad uh, armor breaks thus far on AV seven. Mighty blow hit here is the pow. There's an armor break. Jim's getting uh, locked into a little bit of a scrum, though. He's not going to love that. Might not have much of a choice, though. <laughs> In another free hit. Yep. Again, stand firm, though. Oh. <laughs> there you go. This is gonna be this is gonna be a pivotal turn next turn for PC. Could really do some damage here. Jim, though, with the po the palm hit. It's nothing. Yep, I guess the ball's going to have to fall back here. Pretty helpful 1D, all things considered. He still has another 1D. He wants yep. to take it off. Yeah. Makes uh, it 2D. Yes, he does. And gets the knockdown for his uh, troubles. No armor break again. That helps him out a little bit, but there's going to be a lot of hits back for the first time this game. This is truly the first turn of actual uh, expected Blood Bowl <laughs> that we've had. <laughs> Title your sex tape, Corpax. Oh. Pushes galore on the blitz.
Not that he has a ton of mobility to do so, but you would like to see PC kind of getting around some of these players a little bit because if he doesn't do the damage this turn, Jim's, you know, a bunch of threes away from uh, completely stable and safe again. Strong and stable, if you will. It's going the Jim's way this turn. It sure is. is. It sure is. He cannot feel too bad about this. Oh, Whoops. and there we go. Finally, something breaks. We going, uh... Nope. No Apo there. No real need for it. That's, uh, Jim's... Jim's, uh, Jim's still got one on the bench, right? Because he had a bench of three to start? Or was it two? It was a two. Okay, yeah. So, even still, uh, for overtime, now things are going to start sticking. Yep, here we go. That was kind of a 50-50 turn. Jim started off real well, and then those two uh, removals make things a little scarier. And Jim getting nothing in return. Jim now, there's no, there's no, there's no one answer there, Arietti. Oh, well. No, scars. Okay, that's it. That's it. I don't know why I didn't duck it. Like, it's just stupid. I just thought, you know what, if I can get a Kaz or two, and like... I just don't know why I didn't. It was just idiotic. This was always going to happen, wasn't it? Like... Just how could I ever get lucky? Like, you know what I mean? I did everything I did to get lucky. I've done everything I could to get lucky at every point, And all I've done is get unlucky. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Well, it's still not over, Jim, but he's not looking good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, gross. I, I, I agree with that. That I wasn't gonna push that point right now. <laughs> I mean, if I'd set up normally, it's suicide nine times out of ten. Well, not yeah, no, not yeah, times yeah, nine yeah. out of ten. Eleven times out of twelve, it's absolute fucking suicide to try and do a normal defensive half. Like I've got no chance to win the game if I set up normally, unless I get a blitz. Right, and that that's the thing is the all of your luck came in that one form that you had negated. Well, you can count on the blitz. <laughs> Still kind of holding up here, though. It's not looking good, and he's certainly not going to be able to advance with any sort of protection. He's going to have to start thinking about dodging away. Bomber gets hit. First time the bomber gets hit, and... Just a stun, just a stun. The PC has an avenue here. I guess he doesn't want to put his runners up front, but like he has an avenue here to start blocking off these players from getting away. They can still all three plus away. You want to use your luck for something. It's getting disengaged by the dwarves right now. Time to zoom on a chanter spirit. <laughs> Oh, he needed uh, the takedown. Yeah, he's really... Yeah, okay, here we go. Two plus. Yeah, he really needed... He he needed to get that knocked down if he wanted to keep fighting, and I don't think it was going to really help him all that much anyway. Mm -hmm. 
block dice have been pretty atrocious on both sides of the ball, but mostly Jim here is yeah, yeah, <laughs> struggling yeah, pretty greatly. Like Does feel like we're kind of one big cast away from PC kind of closing this one off. Yeah, it's over. It's over. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't duck. And I, well, I, I'll tell you why I didn't duck. Because my team's slow as fuck. But, like, yeah. how on earth do I do a normal offense? Like, I just can't. He's, you know what I mean? Like, I just obviously can't do a normal offense because he just bases me. Like, I, uh, well, I can do a normal offense if I make, like, any armor breaks ever. But I'm obviously not going to do that because that's, you know, fantasy land. But, you know, that's why I took piling on, right? Maybe I can make an, an armor break yep. or two. And then if I make an like you know, remove some people, then maybe something can happen. But if that doesn't happen, he just does this. And it was inevitable. Like, it was 100% inevitable. It's just fucking stupid. A stupid fucking game, really. But there you go. I tried. At least I tried. There you go. You can take that with you. You tried. You did the right thing. Yeah, there is uh, three doors there that the... Uh, could take advantage of that to move to the other side. I mean, it's a Pomber on the floor, uh, another two Sons on the floor there. Things could happen. Yeah, I mean, the funny thing about the DAC is where Jim is right now in the game is not far off from where he'd have to be breaking through <laughs> in a DAC with this team, so. <laughs> Cannot buy a knockdown right now, though, that's for damn sure. That uh, nearly closed down the chance of going to the right side. Yep. Well, if this is a good result, maybe it is not. Got to make some dodges here. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. Yeah, Baron, PC doesn't defend. like Slayers all that much. He just kind of uses them because everyone likes to hit them. So he Hello. doesn't put a lot of emphasis into them. Call Wano. Thanks for your subscription. Welcome to the channel. And you are Wano. watching a, an epic game of the CCL Cup. The last game of the round of 64. Yeah, both these coaches out outlasting, you know, almost uh, 62 other players. Whoever uh, loses here will be, you know, the 33rd in the leaderboard of the yeah. CCL. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, if he can get to overtime, that keeps him uh, 
Keeps him with a chance at a full 11. If he can get to overtime. Which right now looks like it's going to be complicated. Potato Jimmy, territory. Jimmy needs to unleash the Halo rolls now. Yep. Now we are we are well into uh, potato territory here. Yes, it's the time for the equity shift. I mean, if he thinks he can uh, knock down a stand firm, he's got a, a shot at one, but, you know. First roll at 189. Fantastic. Jesus. Not going to have any rerolls for overtime, that's for damn sure. Here we go. Operation Potato over. No, no Cancel. luck. So now what do you do? Do you four plus, three plus against tackle? Do you just try and get back yeah. there? As horrible as it sounds. Yep, that's what we're doing. It's not happening. G, G. Yep. Yeah, well. Oh, well, there you go. Comedy man. That's that. <laughs> yep. Commiserations, Jim. Congratulations, <laughs> PC. And this what one, a game uh, we watch here. I'm pretty sure our viewers in Senegal are delighted to be <laughs> the ones chosen for this game. Oh, that was Edge 4. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Doc. Good. Thanks. Thanks for that. Yeah, it was Edge 4. Uh, it yeah, actually yeah, was yeah. vaguely close, right? There's somehow there was four players here, like against my breakthrough. Like it wasn't actually that bad if I could have done anything at any fucking yeah. turn. If any turn had had any successes on it, Shit game, it, but it would have been all right. <laughs> Maybe would have recommended slightly less one and nines, Jim. Yeah. Or, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, one and nines actually. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Some pretty bad block dice this half. Yeah. Horrendous. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Talk to the dog. Yeah, I've gotten those two knockdowns. It would have actually been all right. Because, like, obviously, I had move left, so he could have blitzed and then based there, and then I could have just gone through, and it would have been, it would have been fine, really. It would have been, you know. Yeah, I, don't know. <laughs> I think I had a better chance than I should have done those guys all over there. But. Thanks, Paravale. It was it was a really shit game, wasn't it? Yes. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need to get dice. But yeah, obviously, like, you know, with the fucking Blitz, if I'd just set up normally. But then, you know, obviously PC would have set up anti-Blitz then, because he wouldn't, like, you know, so it wouldn't have been exactly the same. He would have, if I had if I'd done a Gadeanic defense, he just sets up anti Gadeanic defense, and then the Blitz isn't even good, right? So... I mean, that was, like, the perfect kick against yeah. Dwarves. But even then, like, what but, do I do? Yeah. He sets up properly. Yeah. Like, he only set up like yeah. a moron because I set up like a moron. So if I set up yeah. like, properly, he just yeah. sets up so that the Blitz does absolutely nothing because he's got stand firm everywhere yeah. and I can't even do anything, so... Yeah, that's fair. I mean, that that's fair. And then chances are you lose a player that first turn and then the whole rest of that half is downhill rather than even. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I still, I, I still didn't like it personally, but that's just me. I, like, I, I feel like defense is your chance to really take over in a Blood Bowl game. So I don't love the withdrawn defense there, but that's personal taste, not, you know, anything else. And then glorious. getting the blitz just makes no, it look worse than it probably in. was. Yeah. Until I'm victorious. Oh, glorious. Thank you very much, Sander. what a legend. Oh, Rick Restless, Muppet. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who are getting subscriptions no, because they didn't, they didn't in. have one. Until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. <laughs> I will defend. Ah, right, so... In fairness, I don't think so, I've ever subbed to Rick. I've always just been getting gift subs randomly yeah, while in his screen. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> no, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. Alright, Jim, how are you going to fix this? And I, I don't know, defend. but I've got my scoring threat. I will defend. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo, flip me, guys! Game, you play your card that was getting lucky with the pylons. Didn't happen. Glorious. 
No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Oh, I just try. I was pile on just to ruin, just to ruin PC's day with a pointless turn for glorious. Perm. No, I won't give in. No. Until I'm oh, victorious. you ruined him, Jim. You and ruined him defend. so good. We go. I will defend. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> the break, of course, too. Yeah, yeah. Here's my two breaks for the year. There's, here's my two <laughs> breaks for the time match. There we go. There you go. Pylon vindicated. Yeah. Well, at least it was the guy who told you to take piling on in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Cosmic. Double scoring threats. How's PC gonna stop this? Oh, meat cube. That's how. Muffet <laughs> 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 did have his crypto million stolen. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> it still sucks. It sucks. We haven't seen uh, Fugonomics still, have we? Yes, I haven't seen him uh, online for ages. Mm. He left because he was having a hip surgery. Yeah. You know, and since then, uh, but I think someone uh, saw him online a couple of times. Hopefully. But yeah, yeah, hopefully everything went all right. Mm. And now he has a new hip, you know, he doesn't have to watch uh, stupid streams because he's hugging ladies all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Man, like that look, that little bit of luck, if only it happened sooner. <laughs> but I mean, I need a lot of luck. I needed to get him down to like nine players on his defense, really. If I get him down to nine players on his defense, then I can start to try and get some kind of angles. But obviously with 11, it's just stupid. It's just nothing. Nothing's possible 11 v 11. It just isn't possible. just isn't possible. Man, sure right. would be nice to have tackle or wrestle for this cage dive, though. Let me tell you. <laughs> well, tackle doesn't matter. It's the it's the other runner that's got Oh, dodge. yeah, yeah. He doesn't even have dodge. Jesus. Yeah, you're right. Mm. <laughs> cage dive. A scatter towards the movement seven zone. Yeah, but it gets it's up, in the bag. The ball and it scores. Easy. It's easy. Mm, I see this stuff in a Rick channel all the time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> if only I had the wizard that, like, I should have had, given the absolute ridiculous disparity in teams, like, me having a wizard would make it almost, like, almost a game, but instead, he was the one that was down TV. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Uh, oh, he's dropping the GG. He was saying, no, you have the play. It really wasn't a GG, was it? It, was, it wasn't even half a game. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I did great the first half. I'm sure that was the correct strategy. I agree with that strategy. I, I do not, but that's uh, perfectly acceptable for me. Yeah, I think, you know, like, at the end of the day, had it. If, I, if I chip a guy or two on defense and, you know, the double LOS, I've got the double LOS, I've got potentially four mighty blow hits, like, on a... No, 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 so not four, is it? It's uh, one, two, three, four, five. So it's, like, ten mighty blow hits, potentially, on, like, on the double LOS, and then plus, like, the occasional POM hit on defense... But then, like, the, it was. I was thinking of like, you know, the t the the double LOS. So I quite liked receiving. Like, I quite like kicking. Like, he chose to receive, but I I thought about just choosing to kick just to do this strategy just for the double LOS for the ten hits. And then if I if I get a drive like eleven versus nine or or whatever, and then like get rid of another one, then it's eleven versus eight. Then I can score that, and then 
go to overtime and it's 11 versus 8 and if I win the toss obviously I've got a really good chance of winning if it's 11 versus 8 or, or even like you know 10 versus 8 or 10 versus 7 there's a decent chance isn't there a quick score with, with Arch 4 so I, I really I really like the strategy I feel like if I try to defend against him I've got to get so unfeasibly lucky that it's it's insanity how, how much I've got to get but like it's just do you know what I mean like it, it, totally different to my game against Cruz where I had like armor rate on everybody and he only had like you know six six chaffs like do you know what I mean it was totally different that game I like and I've got no you know I've got the movement or anything like there's just the, the team was just not good enough to to do anything I thought in defense so I, I really that, like that was known going into it yeah I really like my strategy Yeah, exactly, dog to the dog. Um, which, which again, I wouldn't have had the like the blitz would have been totally different if I had set up. Like if I had set up normally, PC sets up to counter it, counter the blitz. So the blitz isn't even a good result. The blitz only looked good because he hadn't set. Yeah, look, two of the armor breaks were on turn fifteen as well because <laughs> it was the pylon. So yeah, you know that wasn't that wasn't good. Only got all blocked by three, and I got all blocked heavily the second half, didn't I? Um, so the first half was pretty nice, really. It worked out great, the double LOS. Like, I think... No, I, I really do think I did. Until I'm victorious. Oh, little lord. Spray for defend. three months. I will defend. Nearly a uh, full beaver pregnancy. Glorious. Yeah, I was, I, was pretty, I, was, I was pretty happy with how I played and everything. I just think it's just nice, isn't it? So there you go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, little lord. Thanks, Xander. Thanks, Paravale. Thanks, Colonel Guano. <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Savage. <laughs> Thanks, Sata. And uh, yeah, it was just it wasn't there wasn't a lot I could do. But, uh, oh, there you go, Johnny Five uh, got a lot of points. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was it was a pretty obvious thing to bet on, I thought. But there you go. Uh, thank you and thank you very much. Thank you very much, Fimir and Skuro. Um, you know. It's always a pleasure to be here, even in the bad times. <laughs> and I Indeed. hope our friends and uh, viewers in Senegal at least have uh, seen how to play versus a strong uh, dwarf team. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, thanks for doing it. Like, I, I would have been good if there'd been a game, but like, I don't know, I just felt like the teams were that far uh, apart. You, have, was the best you, go, way you went with a plan. That was, yeah. I'm going to use the pylon to get lucky. Didn't yeah. work, that's it. It was a difficult plan, but there weren't many other uh, much better. It was minimize, minimize the risk to your team, maximize, try to get the pylons. You went with it, didn't uh, change your mind midway, and went with it, so it's like, good. Oh, thanks very much, Joseph. Congrats to Jim. <laughs> oh, you should see her coming team. here, you know, with all the big things. Oh, anyway, I'm Ovski, guys. I'm uh, waiting for my dinner to arrive. And I still have to do a few things, so congratulations, PC. We'll see you in the pay game versus Rick. Yes, yeah, that'll be glorious, <laughs> won't it? And yeah, the obviously, revenge, congrats to PC. The revenge of the yep. gymnasium. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like I'm not bothered. I mean, I'm, I'm not bothered about losing. I just, I just would have liked it to have been a bit more of a match. You know, that was the thing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it would have been nice to get that to overtime and see what happens. But, yeah, you know, is what it is. Uh, commiserations, but yeah, I'm gonna uh, gonna bounce out as well. All right, cheers, Guru. Right, guys. Yep. See you later. Cheers, cheers, guys, and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.